is the toboggan going down from the Great Wall. Hi travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Laleco. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I post new videos every week helping enhance your travel experiences. In this video I'm showing us getting up and getting down the Great Wall of China because it's not all just about the walking. Oh, we had such a ball. So I went up to Beijing with a friend of mine and we had a lot of the must-do tourist spots including the Great Wall. What's different is that we chose to go to this particular section of the wall rather than going to Bada Ling, which is where most of the tourist buses and tourists stop and tourists stop whether they're Chinese or foreigners. So we we're hoping for less tourists by going to this spot. We just went on a regular weekend and there was absolutely no problems. We weren't inundated with people and aside from the fact it was so hot so remember to pack a lot of water, even though it's going to be heavy carrying it, you'll drink it as you go and there's plenty of rubbish bins, so it's not messy like other parts of China. On the way up, we chose to go by the chairlift, and there's, there's a couple of options. We chose this one because it's the one company, and you can buy a return ticket. So in our case, we chose to go up with the chairlift and down by the toboggan. You can also go keep walking further up from where we were and catch the cable car or if you call it a gondola. There's this one, it's like a regular ski lift. So. Wow, it's like going over the jungle. I'm really scared now. <laughs> I'm really scared. Oh, look at the view behind. This is my <laughs> I look at the toboggan! That's cool! So you can see the little track! I'm so glad you're as adventurous as I am. Look at how long it like winds around! Oh, this is cool! I'm worried it's gonna break because I'm heavy. It was lovely and we had such a nice day, so it was so good. Very chilled going up, not a problem. Plenty of room for both of us. We aren't the smallest people in the world and we couldn't find any information in regards to the toboggan on the way down as to you know are we going to fit on the toboggan but I can report I went on the regular size one just by myself and my friend chose to go on the double one so at some point during the queue it separates off and for just one person riders and then it separates off I think it's designed for a Chinese kid and to go with a bigger adult but if you're less flexible, uh, I'm worried that it's not going to hold you, then do select that double one. You are restricted by who's going in front of you, and there are people along the way on the side that are like, slow down, slow down, or speed up, speed up, and you're like, well, which is it? I did stop at one point, which I don't think is encouraged, so that then the person in front could get a bit ahead, and then I start again. You've got the stick between your legs. For the brake and also accelerating so it's pretty easy to operate. Okay, so this is the downside to you have to slow down, to whatever people ahead of you are doing. This is the toboggan going down from the Great Wall.
smile across 30 RMB. We had such a lovely ride though, totally a different way to get up and down from the Great Wall. There is also the option to walk up and walk down. There's nothing to say that you have to go via any form of transportation that is offered. If you haven't seen my other video of the highlights of our day being at the Great Wall, please check that out. I'll put that in the description below. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to ask. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one.